This demo file shows the strong features and capabilities of a Midas GTS for making a 3D model. As you know, uh, so far engineers had uh, so much difficulties to make uh, 3D complex geometry using other geotechnical softwares. In this animation, you can see how fast and easy we can make a 3D model using Midas GTS. As you can see, in this example, the step-by-step -step procedure is provided to make the bridge pier. It is important to highlight that when you are using Midas GTS or FX Plus, uh, which is similar to preprocessor of the of Midas GTS, you will be able to import the CAD file either 2D or 3D. In this uh, specific example, first we import 2D CAD file to Midas GTS, then we use the extrude feature to create the ground solid and pier solid. Using the extrude feature in Midas GTS, we can convert 1D to 2D, like converting line to plate, or we can convert 2D to 3D, like plate to solid, uh, using the extrude feature. Another important feature that uh, we use is divide. Uh, we can use the divide to make the sole layer. After creating the surface by extrude feature, the divide feature is used to actually divide the ground solid to different soil layers. After uh, creating the geometry, we should mesh the model. In Midas GTS, there are different options to create a mesh. The end user can use either autom um, automatically mesh or map mesh. If you decide to use the to mesh your model automatically and uh, the results are gonna be the tetra element which are on a structural mesh element however if you use the map mesh the results gonna be hexa or penta element which are a structural mesh elements as you can see in this example uh, we mesh the model automatically and the result is gonna be tetra element another important feature in the mesh uh, generation is uh, that I want to highlight is if we use the automatically mesh the automatically nodal connectivity between finer and bigger mesh uh, can be handled by a program and there is an option in Midas GTS under name of control by size that if you if you use this option the program automatically make the node-to-node -node connect connection between two different size of mesh uh, which is very useful um, the last part as you can see in this uh, specific example is creating the group of deep foundation using other softwares most of the time in order to make the interaction between foundation and soil uh, you should use the interface element you can do the same thing using Midas GTS but as another option uh, you can use the pile element available in GTS and when you use the pile element you can add it at the friction and end bearing or if you have a data you can import the TZ curve uh, to the pile element uh, this example shows how, shows how to create the deep foundation using pile element. Since pile element is the embedded um, beam uh, element in this procedure, first we should make the beam element and then create the pile element using the avail available beam element. Finally, after finish the modeling, we can export the text file to, the, to Excel or any other software. The text file that is created by Midas GTS is include all the geometry, node information, and mesh information, which can be imported by any other software.